In this lesson, we're going to look at using the new FX Graph 5 connection me mechanism to connect to Word. Long-time f of x users will notice that there's no longer an FX Graph button on the toolbar. Instead, this has been replaced with a new connection mechanism that operates from inside FX Graph. So to get a graph, we have to open up FX Graph 5 and then push the connect button. You'll notice that there are more than just the option of connecting to Word, but we'll connect to Word. When I push the button, FX Graph will choose a file name automatically based on the Word document file name. Let's create a graph, x squared, we'll add an integral and an annotation. And to get the graph back into Word, I push the green tick. To get another graph, go back to FX Graph 5, and this time we'll push the Add Graph to File button. We'll get a new set of axes and graph a cubic. Green tick, back in Word. We'll add a third function. So we go back to FX Graph, add a graph to the file, and this time we'll graph a sine curve. Before we push the green tick, we'll resize the graph so that when it goes back into Word, it's the size we're after. Editing graphs is easy. Select the graph I want to edit and copy it to the clipboard. When I go to FX Graph, FX Graph will automatically find the appropriate graph in the on file. So when I go to graph my cubic or edit my cubic, I copy it to the clipboard, go to FX Graph, and the cubic's brought up automatically. We'll change this one. Let's make it red. changed, push the green tick. Uh, it's been changed in my document. To finish up, we'll copy the sine curve, go to FX Graph and it finds the right one. We'll add a secant line. And an, and an annotation. push the green tick and it's back in Word.